Welcome back to my garage. Today we take a slight break from the brute force concept prototype. Assemble and start the PIP engine because the cylinder is back from exhaust bridge welding and plating from Blixton's Racing. And it looks just perfect. So they've done a really great job here. With a bridged port, we can run normal pistons for now and uh, take that variable out of the equation. I will continue the development of the 100% of bore port though, but not in this engine. I'll create a separate engine, a test engine for that concept. These Mark Atkinson design pistons are better in a few ways. They're more even, so the heat expansion is, uh, is more even. And there's no holes where short circuiting between the exhaust and the transfers can happen, which will happen in this, in this normal piston. But uh, just to keep it simple for now. Keep it simple, get something running for once. Not in the previous video, but in the video before that, I gave away a micro switch all metal hot end. And uh, I said I was going to draw someone from the comments, and I've done so. I used Google's random number generator and uh, zero to total amount of comments as the selection set. And I got number 87, so comment 87, number 87. The lucky winner is Jordan Barnsley. Thanks for the new content, it's really fantastic. Thank you, Jordan. I could really use an upgrade to my hot end if you're willing to send it over. I'm in South Africa. No problem. If not, no worries. Oh, I'll send it. Again, it's awesome to see you doing what you enjoy again. Thanks. It is awesome. Thank you. Jordan Barnsley, congratulations. Send me an email to twostrokestuffing at gmail.com and uh, with your address and I'll, I'll send it right away. Thank you. 
Success at last, no surprise though, because now the cylinder is just like most other cylinders with a bridge in there and uh, there's nothing overly, there's nothing too wide about it anymore. Should still produce a lot of horsepower though and might still be the most powerful two-stroke horsepower versus cylinder capacity. We'll see. This small pumper car is supposed to go on there and uh, but first I'll need to make up some new reed valves which were destroyed by backfires last time and uh, and mount this reed block which is the reed block that's supposed to be there and my little adapter plate here I'm going to make a new one now that I've got the CNC machine it seemed to be running hopelessly rich part of that might be the rings not sealed properly yet so it acts rich even though it isn't and part of it is probably that it 
is rich. No point in jetting that carb when it's this one that's going on there. Another success today, that pumper card, which I've never run before. Got it from Coldy Woody, so thanks again, Coldy Woody, a long time ago. It works just fine, no problems at all. So I just had to set the idle and uh, and it's far too rich, but we'll just adjust it. Okay, we'll need to get that secondary intake going. For us to be able to use this intake, we need the engine to be able to be kept under constant load which means we'll have to finish the dyno start testing and tuning the secondary intake with the nitromethanol EFI system I think that's a first an episode featuring this engine and it doesn't end in failure and despair hooray I guess <laughs> oh I might actually try some kind of a mechanical injection slash carb without a slide just fully open thing on that secondary intake instead of the EFI setup just because it's much simpler and because then I can allow it to I can allow the slide in that shutoff valve to leak some and it will bring some fuel with it and uh, I think that and it's much simpler and much fewer parts and uh, no pump and I think that would be more suitable to the to this engine which is more pure it's resonance and no brute force stuff resonance and purity thanks for watching the next episode might be the pip engine and the secondary intake or maybe some dyno more dyno work i've ordered some pulleys for the brute force engine so it might be a brute force video we'll see we'll see okay see you next time